The National Museum of the Royal Navy. My name is Matthew Sheldon. I'm standing in the entrance of the old Royal Marines Museum, which is now closed. I just want to talk to you about why we've taken the decision to close our historic inquiry service for the next 18 months. Now, earlier this year, we got the unwelcome news from the Heritage Lottery Fund that at the moment, they're not able to fund the creation of the new Royal Marines Museum. And that means we do have to make some hard choices and prioritise where we're going to spend our money and where the curators are going to spend their time for the next 18 months. And what we've decided really is that the collection is increasingly at risk in this building, which is not fit for purpose. Don't just take my word for it. I'm going to take you behind the scenes to show you the condition of this building, which is over 150 years old, and show you some of the challenges that the team are going to face over that period. So we have over 20 storerooms spread over five floors in this building that's 150 years old. That's millions of historic items, everything from small medals to you know, huge paintings that will take you know, many members of the team just to move them. Our challenge over the next 18 months is also, though, to design the new accommodation that will take our collections and that will create much better, more appropriate conditions for long-term storage. So what impact does all of this have on running the inquiry service? Really, the hard reality is that with our staff working hands-on, packing, cleaning, and moving, the collections just are not going to be physically available for them to do that inquiry work. We have worked hard to try and compensate for this closure. So we're going to run more of what we call Ask the Archive sessions, we're putting more online resources to help people interpret their own records at home. We've got a new collection portal that's going to develop to show more of the collection. And we've made the decision that we will keep collecting through these 18 months. We will preserve the heritage that people wish to give to us. So we have a huge challenge ahead, not only in terms of this movement of the collection. We have to raise the funds for that new Royal Marines Museum. We have £5 million in the bank. We have another £5 million to raise. I think more of that another time. Our immediate priority is to ensure that this collection is safe and secure and that in the future you have the kind of access you need to conduct that personal research and that we need to do the inquiry service on your behalf.